Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, Tyranno Lair ruins. There's a gate! Lavos fast, deep under earth now. This gate was opened by Lavos. He's probably the source of all the gates. What's wrong, Chrono? Want to fight Lavos? Go here. No? I mean, I don't think we can actually fight him. Uh, let's see where the gate takes us. Well, Ayla, first time through uh, time. This is exciting! Chrono, where this place? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to find out. Oh. Small cave. 12,000 BC. Uh, things have, uh, been better, shall we say. Let's actually, uh, use a shelter. Probably could have done that earlier. Well, that's an interesting thing. A skyway. Anywhere else that we can go? Nope, nothing on that mountain. Boy, I'm so glad we're not freezing our butts off right now. Nothing we can do there. Nothing down there. Terra Cave? Well, there's nothing we can do there. Also, there's a giant chain over there. Alright, well. That's just a small cave. Alright, well, let's go uh, visit the Skyway thing. Well, where is this going to take us? Huh. Wow. Some floating continents. And Hassa. Land bridge. Land bridge. Let's not check that out just yet. Let's see where this leads. This takes us back down to uh, the ground. Nothing there. Another skyway. Okay, well... Let's go check out Enhasa. Who knew there were floating islands in this game? Wait, it's a Japanese RPG. Of course there's floating continents. And castles and things of that nature. Whee! This is some of my favorite music in the game. Asa, Mune? Is that one of you? This is the Magic Kingdom of Zeal, where dreams can be made reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There is always a price to be paid. Hmm. Well, let's close that book. Welcome to Enhasa, Zeal's city of dreams. We seek enlightenment within the bliss of sleep. Hmm. You are not of us, are you? What gave it away? The uh, foreign clothes made of uh, modern materials? <laughs> Should have brought Robo. 
Alright, there is going to be a fight coming up, and I'm going to want uh, Frog in the party for that. You are most unusual visitors. Am I waking, or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. Well, that's gonna piss off uh, Aphrodite or Athena. Or Hera or Hestia or someone else like that. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the King died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. There's a really good vocal version on uh, the uh, Chrono Trigger vocal album that came out a few years ago. Hello? The world you see with your eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that only those things which you can see or touch are real. Like you? Or the doll? Do you believe such things as fate? Do you think it possible our lives are predetermined? Well, um... No, that's ridiculous. Yes, it is, isn't it? We are the masters of our own destinies. Speaking of which, I believe there may be a doorway of destiny in this very place. That was the, uh, Odd Doll. Truths exist in dreams, a world exists in me. Yes, I do. So you're a believer, too. Yes, perhaps it is arrogant to think ourselves strong enough to overturn destiny. No, no, most definitely not. Looks like water, alright. City of Kajar, the high seat of magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship the Blackbird is maintained there as well. Very odd. I am Doreen. I seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge each in turn. Huh. So you're not Masa or Mune. The Queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors, forged with the power of the sun in the Shrine to the North. You can see its entrance on the northern continent, but no one is allowed inside it now. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's just a tent. We can get it in there. The door to the Northern Shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, lack the means to open it. Welcome. Have you come to do business? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I can buy high potions. Let's buy a few of those. I can buy some ethers. Couldn't do so. Let's go ahead and sell off some things that I do not need. Sell off the uh, mammoth tusks. Shaman's bows. The uh, ruby guns. Stone arms. These stone helms. I will keep some ruby vests. Um, I need four, so yep. There we go. I have 165 gold now. Jeez. Alright, you have no new equipment. That's fine. But I have a lot of money now, and I can buy ethers. Hi, kid. How's it going? You 
seems a sullen lad. What wrong? That animal for eat tastes good? It's a kitty. It's a purple kitty, too. The black winds howl. One among you will shortly perish. Young one, of what do you speak? Huh? I do not know what this portends, but I do not like the sound of that at all. Strange boy, but not bad boy. Yeah, we'll see about that. This is a font of recovery. Rest in your, your wearied mind and body within, traveler. Okay. Thank you. What is that back there? The Queen's Palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that that we can sleep our days away in peace. <sighs> you have some interesting books, sir. I wonder what's in the Northern Shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace, but entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. Maybe she'll give it to us. What is that back there? Is it just like a cloak held put up or something? I don't know. Did that, that boy go anywhere? I wanna, I wanna pet his kitty. I need a purple kitty. Alright, you came back and you disappeared. All right, so, um, if we do something with these books, we might be able to do something. So I want to do them in a specific order. Let's go with this one first. That is, uh, water. And then we want to hit this one for wind. And then this one for a fire. Ooh, a secret door. The Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins and ends with new. This is the undeniable truth, because I believe it to be so. At least for the present. I like these statues. Hello. The Guru of Reason is gone. Do you want to challenge me? Sure! All right, prepare yourselves. Oh my lord, that is a lot of news. All right, uh, we want to start with a thunder strike. We'll go with those three, and we'll go with heal. I got very lucky there with Chrono. Such happy music. All right, three news down. Probably didn't need to do that right then. So good. Shoot. They need water. Do a heal. Again, not all that necessary. But I need the uh, Chrono and Ayla's turns to come up again. Falcon Strike. Do a heal. So yeah, that's what they do. They uh, Their first attack will knock you down to one hit point, and then their second attack will either do one or zero. I got really lucky that first time with Chrono taking zero on that second attack. Come 
on, Chrono. Interesting that those are just doing one damage. I thought they would always do uh, the one to knock you down to one. 744 XP, 90 TP. Ayla's level increased. You're strong, take this. Obtained magic capsule, obtained speed capsule. No. I believe you can only challenge them once. Pretty sure if you challenge them over and over again, it would be overpowered. But we got some good capsules out of that. All right, so that's the easiest way to take them out. Um, just because two Falcon Strikes will take out uh, three at a time. I'm not sure if there's uh, anything else that would easily be able to take them out. Uh, but we know of another place that we can go, so let's get onto that. And let me see... I think I want to get Robo back in the party, just because... Um, he needs 282... Uh, Frog needs 282 for Water 2. 336 for Cure 2. 590 for a Megaton Bomb. And 492 for a Rapid Fire Fist. And he's been out of the party for a while. I think he needs, uh, needs to get this Rapid Fire Fist thing. So let's go ahead and put him in the party. I suppose I don't actually need Ayla in the party either. Although she's a lot of fun. How long for your next thing? A tailspin. Well, I'll wait until we get tailspin. Do we even have any other uh, fights? There's a cave over there. But let's head into this skyway here. Can't go in there. So, Kajar. Small cave. Blackbird. Where does this water come from? Like, it goes off the edge there. Obviously it comes from up there, but, like, <laughs> what's the replenishment source of this water? Is it just rain? Uh, let's go to the Blackbird first. Well, no, that's creepy music. Why do you guys look like monsters? Why are you here? All is well with the Blackbird, I presume? Oh, all is well with the Blackbird, I presume? She's fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing here? I just came in. Hmm, those clothes. You must be the ones the Prophet said would come to interfere. What? I think I shall watch for the time being. See how he plays his hand. And not that I suspect he'll tip his card so easily. <laughs> Hi? Yes, yes, these clothes. Clearly far future, clearly far past. I mean, she's wearing gray furs. And then whatever it is that Chrono's wearing. Alright, well, we can go into Kajar. Hi, are you the greeter? This is the Magic City of Kajar. We perform research in the magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plans to deliver our kingdom even greater glory. 
There's like only one kingdom. The world below is frozen. Is there, an is there another kingdom in the uh, sky that we don't know about? Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. I am unfamiliar with what, what kindness is. We do not have that here. Alright, so we've got another uh, wind book here. So it sounds like I'll have to do another puzzle. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. But now only the Guru of Life knows the art of crafting such things, and even if others did, the Queen has ordered us to abandon use of the sun's power. Is, is that why the world is frozen? Such beauteous contentment there is in a newly blossomed bud. Would that I could be a flower. Well, I probably can with magic. This is a font of recovery. Rest your wearied mind and body within, traveler. Thank you. That's the Sun Temple, which you see on the southern sky isle. The Sun Stone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the northern shrine once we turned to our new energy source. N new energy source? The Queen claimed we'd no need for the energy of the tired old sun. Tired old sun, huh? Oh, hi, new. And nothing else. No weapons or armor. All right. I have platinum armor too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. Oh, uh, how do I get permission? What is it? Yeah, yeah. There's uh, something up there. What tempest must rage in young Lord Janus's head? His only friend, other than his sister, is that cat that follows him about. We've been seeing a great deal of Lord young Lord Janus lately. Before, he scarcely showed his face, but now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. Her Majesty Queen Zeal has two children, Lady Shala and young Lord Janus. I might switch between Janus and Janus, so that happens sometimes. Lady Shala is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be at all ease and luxury. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it is. That's, that's probably exactly what the, what's going on there. Uh, let's see. What am I looking for? I want that. I'm just pulling up a, uh, a map so I can see what is what. What goes where. How is it that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It is a conundrum. My, you've an unusual aura. You must possess the gift too. You seem very primitive compare yours seems very primitive compares to ours there, though. You poor thing. Dang. Harsh. I wanna read that book. I can't. Alright, so that's water. Those lacking magic are known as the earthbound ones. They've always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting, after all, they lack our talents. You lack their. You probably lack their talents of uh, not being jerks. The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our Queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous Queen Zeal. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. It seems even they have their purpose. Allowed, huh? Behold, that, uh, that out uh, the window is uh, the great blackbird built by Balthazar, the Guru of Reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The Guru is a genius! The construction of the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a, sign, a sight to see when it's finished. I'm missing a book. Oh, right there. 
Alright. Okay, so, let's see. What do we get if we, uh... Want to do water, wind, then fire, I think. Oh, actually, before we do that... So that flashing light, we can actually get that from up here. Speed capsule! Very nice. Alright, so which one was water again? That one is wind. That one's water. And fire. There we go. It all began eons ago when man's ancestors stumbled upon a shard of very strange red rock. Its power was beyond human comprehension, it cultivated dreams, and gave birth to love and hate. Only time will tell how it ends. Is that that red stone that we uh, needed to repair the uh, Masamune? Maybe. Obtained an unidentifiable object. But inside is a black gemstone. I believe that's an accessory. No. Maybe it's only usable by certain people. Enables Eternal Darkness Triple Tech. Oh, usable by Marley and Luca. Does it give any stat bo boosts? Nope. Maybe we need two of those? That's the only thing I can think of at this point. Get that magic scarf equipped. Alright, well, that's probably for later. Alright, we've uh, been through th here, talked to them. So, let's go ahead and, uh, head over here and talk to these people. But I think we'll do that next time. We'll see what, uh, the people up there have to say. Let's actually go ahead and step outside so I can save it, actually. So, that will be when we come back next time. See you then, everyone.